Hey guys, it's the next next year, and if you have not seen the news uh, for last month on the Linux desktop market share on the Stat Counter website, uh, well, you should actually go and check it, or I can just show you right now. So if we do open this up right now, we can see that Linux is at 4.45%. Now you may be thinking like, well, who cares? It's it's still rather low, but you know, if you just select Linux here, so if you just tick untick these, we just so Linux. Let's have a look at the start of the uh, last not last not the start of last year but june 2023 specifically we're at like 3.07 percent which was which was already pretty damn good we were, we were rather all satisfied that linux has grown that much but as we can see here as we go by it you know it increased a little then decreased then it uh you know decreased a little bit more then it increased uh, which was odd you know 2.92 up to 3.22 that's a bit odd but you know it did do that then it jumped to 3.83 and then 3.77 and then four percent so there you go and now we've grown another percent and it's not even the end of the it's, it's basically into next year and if we keep going along 4.05 percent and then it drops down to 3.88 percent and then 3.77 percent and then 4.05 percent in june so if we just have a look at this right now you can see that linux has been kind of like all over the place it's been just gone up and down and i guess it's because of all the other market shares it's competing against because you know we Windows, Mac OS, Unknown, whatever the hell that is, um, to have a higher market share and they seem to fluctuate a lot more and seem to gain a lot more than what Linux does. But since it's 4.45 from 4%, so it's, that's a 0.40% gain, that is insane. Uh, you know, someone reported this in the comments, uh, you know, uh, today and I was like, he was like, oh, you should do a video on it. I was like, all right, bet, I'm going to do a video on it because like, you know, that's quite insane that it's at 4.45 five percent now now you may be thinking uh you know what about steam hardware survey well steam hardware survey hasn't updated yet actually if i do check it right now on the website um and as you can see here uh, if we switch back to desktop it hasn't updated yet it's still june i'm pretty sure this stuff will be updated on the fifth if i'm not mistaken or maybe like tomorrow or something but i'm pretty sure it's always been like the fifth of the day that, that that's when they update it i might be wrong here but uh this would be really good to see uh to see like if linux has grown even more as overall you know it's stuck around like that two two percent uh roughly on the steam hardware survey and that's not a bad thing that's really good it is higher than mac os and i'm guessing that's because you know that's all thanks to the steam deck it's thanks to proton so then linux gamers are able to play their games through a proton uh, compatibility layer basically you know, running their windows games through a compatibility layer, compatibility layer and usually i don't really take that much notice into these things because you know it's, it's again Again, it's competing with other operating systems. It's competing with Windows here, which is at 96.61%, and it's at a plus 0.40% increase um, on Windows 11 and Windows 7 for some reason. Some Windows 7 gamers are still out there. I do know they have been in my comments before, and they do exist, uh, which is crazy. You should um, at least upgrade to Windows 10 um, and get maybe like a modified version of Windows 10. That would be like the best chance you have. I don't know why you would want to run Windows 7 unless you're like, I don't know, maybe you just want to play retro games and like not use Steam at all because Steam is not supported on Windows um, 7. So you, you can't use Steam on there. Uh, so that'd be my only thought is like someone would want to either use it for general browsing or for just playing like locally stored games. But besides that, you should be on Windows 10 or you should be trying to use Linux. But besides that, uh, you know, the market share, right? Like, you know, it's beating, it's beating uh, Mac OS and that's really good to see and i do hope that we we do see a higher increase but it's like not much of a problem necessarily because the steam deck is still selling millions of copies every month or every couple of months it's selling millions of copies and you don't really see an increase that much and that's just because there are so many people installing steam on a windows machine so linux can't really catch up and when we have a look at these um these uh things here of like different distros you can see they've chosen some weird linux distros like ubuntu core 22 who cares about ubuntu core 22 that is so freaking old same with ubuntu 2204 lts like not many people run that distro anymore as you can see it's at a 0.09 percent and then uh you know what linux mint 21 that's fine arch linux that's fine i'm pretty sure if we do look at this even closer look into it more we have a look at what is the most used distro and we can see that yep steam os is at 41 percent and then we have other here which is 22 percent now 
but Ala would have to be like Fedora um, and plenty of other types of distros. And then free desktop would be um, the flat pack runtime as it says there, which yeah, it is the flat pack runtime. So that's what I'm saying. When you expand these things, you see that, you know, Steam OS is taking a big chunk uh, but it's not really be it's not really able to catch up to Windows in time. It would have to be sell selling like billions of copies to catch up to Windows. And that's why I don't really take an account into these uh whole market share things. I do send out updates on my uh YouTube posts, like my community posts. I'll send a community post every month about this market share increase or decrease, and um, people really seem uh, interested in that. But for me personally, it's not that important because you know I, I can use Linux and that's really all that matters. I would love to get more people to install it, but uh, it just it is what it is. So and then the other one uh, question is, well, Linux is at 4.45%. Okay, what if we hit 5% market share? Now, from my um, knowledge and what other people have told me, I've not actually searched this up personally. I think I've searched up one time and I couldn't find a real result about it. And uh, that's when a specific product or whatever it may be hits 5% market share. People are supposed to care, like companies and software development, like specifically companies who are into the business side of things, actually start to take account for that market share, you know, oh, 5%, we should port our software over. So this is when people are like, oh, if Linux is 5% market share, um, like software like Adobe software will come over or some, uh, some other like Microsoft suite software will come over to uh, Linux, which is likely at some point, as we've seen Windows, they brought over Edge, uh, which is a Chromium-based browser, but it's you know, Microsoft's version of a Chromium-based browser, and they brought it over to Linux. I think it was because of their developers were using Linux, and so they made them use the Edge browser, and they even made like a flat pack version, I'm pretty sure, unless that's unofficially maintained. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I think if Linux does hit 5%, let's say next month, that's pretty likely, I would say, with this gain from, from last month, um, it is is likely that we will see developers just care more about Linux. They'll start to see it. They'll start to make more news, make more blog posts, development blog posts about, you know, supporting Linux down the line, whatever um, software or product that may be. And, you know, I think this increase has got to do with the um, recent CrowdStrike issue that happened, where if you don't know what the problem was, uh, basically a bunch of millions of servers that were Windows machines um, got a bad update from uh, CrowdStrike, which CrowdStrike, they like to um, send out these proprietary kernel driver based like firmware updates to Windows. It's a whole like for better security on the server. And well, they sent out a bad update and that caused millions, millions of computers slash servers to um, not able to boot up properly. And so I feel like this is kind of accounting for that issue, even though it's been like a month. I'd say that, that happened like middle of the month or like near the end of the month. Um, I still think that it's accounting for for that issue that just happened with Windows machines where uh, more people are seeing how Windows is failing them for certain situations, even though that's server-based, it still makes people wonder like what Linux is like or what Mac OS is like or what Chrome OS is like. And um, they'll try those operating systems out. And when they try out Linux, and I've seen this every goddamn week, every day, there is literally so many people asking on Reddit, how do I install this? I'm, I'm trying to move to Linux. This is my hardware. What distro should I install? Oh, I've moved over to Linux and it's the you know best thing I've ever tried. I wish I'd done it sooner. Like there's there was like three posts of that this past like three days. Like there has been so many posts on Reddit about people moving over to Linux and they've been enjoying it, and that's great. Uh, but there's been also a lot of people that have had issues and stuff like that. And the good thing is that the uh you know the Linux community has been helping them out. I've been helping people out also, like every every day I get YouTube comments, I get I post on uh, uh, Reddit posts about um, issues that people are having and I try to at least give some knowledge of like what they're doing wrong or what they should maybe try and install. Like some people had like an AMD GPU installed and they were installing the AMD GPU Pro drivers or the VLK drivers which um, is not recommended in the Linux space but people do install it because they're like oh I've installed Linux Mint and I can't play my games and then they they um, installed the uh, proprietary drive I think it's proprietary the AMD
AMD GPU Pro driver, unless that is, I'm pretty sure it's actually open source, but um, you still have to install it. But like after they installed um, Linux Mint, um, yeah, I told them, I was like, hey, uh, you know, you're on an old version of Linux Mint, you should upgrade to Linux Mint 22, and then you'll get a newer Mesa version, and then you'll get a better experience when it comes to playing um, Red Dead Redemption 2, which was the game that they were trying to play, and they were getting like 15 FPS on their laptop because they were running a 7000 series GPU on Linux Mint 21.3, and that runs an old Mesa version plus kernel, so the support for 7000 series laptops is not there. So it, telling them to upgrade to Linux Mint 22, and then that comes with a newer kernel, which is 6.8, and that has the um, recommended drivers for the um, 7000 series GPUs, and then the newer Mesa version, which is Mesa 24.0, gets them a better experience. And so that's really what it comes down to is when someone installs Linux, if they have a good time, they stay on it. Uh, and if they install a distro like an older version of Linux Mint or Ubuntu, they can have a better, uh, worse experience than other users like me, who's running Cache's OS at the moment, which I am going to do a review on Cache's OS. That is uh, a distro that I am still trying to just use and just, you know, think about like, you know, well, what's good about this distro? What does it offer? How does it update? How do you install it? All that type of stuff um, to make that video for you guys and for new users that want to know, you know, how good Cache's OS is. Uh, but when it comes to the Linux desktop market share, back to the main point, the market share, uh, you know, if next month it goes to like, you know, 4.7% or 6%, that's even better. And we, we really do see um, Linux Mint continuing to grow. You know, if we, if we go back here and we show the, um, you know, like two years ago when I decided to start running Linux and when Proton was starting to actually get good and, you know, and AMD drivers were getting really good for the Steam Deck, which also improved um, desktop GPUs, we can, you know, we can see that like um, the market share was really low. So if we have a look here, we go all the way back to, what's that, January 2022, so the first month of 2022, it's at 2.19%. Two years ago, Linux was at 2%, and I remember, and I've watched other videos of other people showing this graph. Originally, you know, Linux, uh, not Linux, uh, Linux itself, the desktop market share side, stayed at like 2% or like 1.8%, 1.6%, for a very, very long time. Like if we go back to like 2010, I bet y'all, it's gonna be near the same desktop market share, I bet. Like it went from like 1% probably to like, you know, if we hide this, let me just show. So you can see 2011, it was at 0.74%. And that makes sense. Like, you know, Linux desktop was nowhere near ready in 2011. Uh, and you know, you know, when it came to gaming, that was not possible really. It came maybe to um native games with like Valve and stuff and maybe some other native of games but when it came to you know AAA titles and actual like good made games that take you know like three or four years to make or two years or whatever um that weren't you, you weren't able to play them on Linux back then and you know as we can see here throughout the whole year it kind of just bounced around it never really reached anything you know, and then as we can see as we continue to get to like 2021 we can see a little spike here 2.38 and then 2022 this is when I started using Linux I mean I tried Linux all the way back in like 2018 and uh it was actually a really good experience when it came to using uh, gnome because i was using ubuntu and it was a um rather decent experience back then uh with gnome uh, i can't remember what version of gnome it was but it was a good experience with the ubuntu extensions uh, enabled it, it really was a good experience but i could not play my games I, but yeah as you can see it kind of just hovers and then as we go into you know 2023 hits three percent and then 2024 it hits four percent and now we're up to here which is 4.45 percent so it's taken a long time for you know linux that's not too grow it really really has but uh you know with things like the the steam deck you know with other handheld devices that are going to be you know, installing linux and uh, we've continued to see that, like that Manjaro device, I forgot what it's called, but that's already available in China and that's getting plenty of users to um, buying that handheld and being able to play their games on there. And that's really it, you know, it's really good to see Linux desktop market share continue to grow. It really um, is really good to see, you know, um, just Linux as a whole, the different desktop environments that we have available and Proton we have available and how good Proton is. And especially when it comes to anti-cheat type stuff, how we have EAC and BattleEye supported on under Proton, and we can get we can get game studios to even so we can get game studios to 
support uh, Proton compatibility, so then Valve can look at the look after those games. And there has been so many new pieces of software that have came out in the past couple of years. Also, like GPU screen recorder, bottles. Um, so again, for example, uh, Notes Nook, which is the um, Notes app that I use, and it's really good. It's open source. It um, syncs between uh, devices, which is encrypted, by the way. And it's really, really freaking good. I would re definitely recommend. It. I make all of my scripts. Uh, uh, in that note uh, note app if we actually open it right now you guys can see it uh, I guess and as you can see I have tons of videos that I would like to do uh, and I usually just decide like which one should I do for this week or um, next week or whatever and uh, that's just how it is so uh, without uh, with that I guess that's the end of the video so if you guys did enjoy this video I definitely uh, would give it a like you definitely can subscribe to the channel and thank you to my members also a show at actual screenshot because last time i didn't um, and i appreciate uh, the members who do support me it's really good to see uh people supporting my channel every month okay? again i really do appreciate it so i'll see you guys in the uh next video peace